Hey everybody, it's Stefan here on Gender Queer Chat. Um, this week we're talking about our gender and how it relates to our mental health. Um, and uh, I don't know, I don't really think I have too much to say about it because um, I really haven't had any um, diagnosed mental health issues, um, you know, pretty much ever. Um, I'm you know, a generally pretty happy, um, you know, chill person. Um, I don't know. It was, uh, I guess, uh, one thing that's interesting is it was really hard for me to, uh, decide to go to a therapist in order to get my letter for tea. Um, I'm very much a fan of informed consent clinics and, um, not having to go through, um, the uh, psychological community in order to access hormones or, um, you know, steps in transition. Um, I mean, there are definitely people who would benefit from talking to a therapist prior to starting their transition, but, I mean, if you don't, if you're not depressed and not, you know, suffering from any other things other than, um, you know, your gender issues, um, I don't think, personally, that um, being transgender or gender variant um, is a mental health issue. Um, I think it's more of a body issue and more of a society issue than it is a mental health issue. And um, I'm a very strong proponent of taking transsexuality out of the DSM um, in the next round, out of the DSM-5, and um, getting rid of you know, the whole gender identity disorder thing. Um, I um, wanted to start testosterone, and um, some endocrinologists will start you without a letter, but um, the ones that were covered by my insurance um, required that I have a letter from a therapist. So I did go ahead and um, do the whole therapy thing, but, I mean, it wasn't really that bad. Um, the therapist that I chose had... Um, seen trans guys before and um, was a part of the queer community um, and had a pretty good understanding of gender issues and stuff like that. And so honestly, like, most of it was just me shooting the shit about stuff. Um, basically, like, the first, after my first appointment, she's like, yeah, I'll totally write your letter, but we have to do this thing because it's a requirement. So, um... So I did see her four times over three months, according to the standards of care. Um, the Harry Benjamin standards of care, you can look it up um, if you're not familiar with it. Um, and, um, like, uh, those aren't, you know, binding by law or anything, but it's just, like, the general practice and guidelines that people have adopted. Um, so, um, also, in my actual letter that I got from her, um, it states that I meet the criteria for gender identity disorder. It doesn't actually say that I've been diagnosed with it or that I have it, which I kind of like. So it was kind of vague enough that I could, um, you know, get what I needed to get out of the medical community, but um, I also feel confident that, um, you know, even though I meet those criteria, it's kind of worded in a way that's kind of, you know, um, not necessarily labeling me as that because I don't think that it should even be a thing, so, <laughs> um, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so, I did that whole thing, but I mean, other than that, I haven't gone to counseling except, um, except when my parents divorced when I was, like, in eighth grade. I went to counseling for, like, a couple weeks, but, I mean, it wasn't really that big of a deal. I mean, um... I don't know. Um, yeah. So, hmm. Not really sure what else to say. Um, I mean, being genderqueer is hard, and there's, like, parts of it that, you know, make me anxious or, you know, confused or, you know, whatever, but, I mean, I don't consider that I have any sort of, um, you know, mental health issues. 
or really like, you know, any serious problem, you know, related to my mental health or my gender identity or how those two things relate. So, um, yeah, like, other than the fact, like, if you just like even take, if you take gender out of my life, you know, altogether, like, I'm pretty much like the sanest person that I know. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, I'm pretty stable and, you know, resilient and, you know, just kind of take things as they go and have a you know, really good outlook on life. So, um, and I don't think that my gender identity really, you know, goes against any of that. So, alright, um, I guess that's it for now and I will talk to you guys later. Alright.